Hi, November 15th here, Happy Dog Farm. Today, uh, the weather wasn't great. Okay, this week, um, the weather wasn't great. When I went to Franklin County Cider Days, I expected to come back to cold, dry weather. I forgot that I live in Pennsylvania. What I came back to was a snow dump. And I had planned to put lime out underneath all my trees to do the thing that it does. It soaks into the soil, releases nutrients, so that next year, well, maybe I'd have healthier trees. What I came back to was a lot of snow and mud. So anyway, I can apply lime as long as it's not precipitating, it's as long as it's not raining. And the reason being is the top of my spreader is open and I don't want moisture getting into the lime before it's on the ground or it'll clump. Anyway, weather window today. Went out, shot some video. It's going to follow up, going to share that with you. I really want to wrap it up by saying I really like this attachment. I'm putting a link down below to a previous video that I did where I assembled the attachment, which I did not enjoy. And I would say if you're looking at growing and you want to be able to side dress, put fertilizer or lime under your trees, this is a very affordable solution. I can put 400 plus pounds into my spreader and it's very consistent for how it places it. And as I, as I go along, it was very easy to control. So if you have a lot of trees, you can put a lot in there. For me, 400 pounds is 10 rows, okay? But that's row length and everything else. But it's a, it's a good deal of length. Uh, granted, pelletized lime comes in 40-pound bags, so you got 10 bags there. Not a big deal. So after I did this trial with four bags, I ordered another 12 bags. Um, come spring, early season next year, I'll be putting 10, 10, 10 underneath the trees uh, after I get past fire blight season and that, you know, a lot of tender shoot. I'll be doing that mid-year. And I, I'm just really tickled with the attachment. So anyway, you get to see a little bit of it. I hope sometime to have someone be able to follow me with the camera because I can't shoot and drive at the same time. I don't have a fancy tractor that knows how to go straight. Anyway, enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, hopper is on the back of the tractor, and you can see the side dress attachment on it. I'm putting in just 200 pounds, not a lot, just to get a sense for how fast it's going to come out, how it's going to place, and, you know, just get used to it. I've never used it before like this. Once I get a sense of it, I'll know how much to order from the mill, and they'll said they'll have the rest for me Wednesday. So that'll be super cool. It's bright out there, but uh, we'll work it out. Okay, I can't record while I'm spreading and driving, but I want to say it really, there it is on the back. I lower it a bit when I'm actually spreading, so all good. And I aimed at the deflector down a little bit, all good. And really, it did a nice job of laying a tight pattern under the trees, not in the growing lanes. This is gonna be for fertilizer, it's gonna be for lime. This was awesome. So I'm gonna to get to it and see how well I'm doing. I'm not trying to put a lot lot down. You can see it's, uh, it's a pretty thin layer, but I'm happy. All right, gotta get to it. I'm cold, bye-bye. Thing I want to show you here is that a lot of these spreaders come with an attachment on the top for like seed and the like that flops around. And a hop grower up in New York said, take it off. It will powder your pelletized lime and it'll clog, it'll make a mess of things. So I'm running without it and it worked brilliantly. Um, I'm figuring it out it takes one bag of fertilized of uh, lime.